Hello guys, uh, welcome to the uh, Cloud Tech Talks. Uh, in this video, um, we're gonna um, look at the Alibaba Cloud uh, portal walkthrough. So, um, so I've just uh, created a test account and uh, look at the URL. It says a uh, home new uh, intl.console.aliyun.com. Uh, so as soon as I uh, uh, logged in, I see the console. Uh, it's asking, you know, what is your layout? This is new actually because uh, we don't see this kind of layout uh, uh, in, um, in Azure or AWS right or in GCP so it's asking what is your favorite like maintenance operations individual developers or financial management so I would like to click on one operations and let's see um, so so now the layout has been changed a little bit it is actually giving me some information like a resource alert safety monitor and you know recently used product and it's also giving all the latest information about the Alibaba services and the announcements and uh, uh, tutorials and white papers and here it's also giving the, 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 the consumption so let's click on the the products and services oh, see that there are a lot of products and services so so here look at the the computing so we have so many of cloud services under computing and similarly under the networking media services IOT analysis services DT plus Apsara DB cloud communication security monitor and management application services storage and CDN middleware digital finance domain and websites marketplace message queue so so these are all the various categories you can see you know um, like what we see uh, in compute storage networking and all that so uh, this interface is very new when uh, uh, compared to the uh, Azure portal or um, AWS and GCP uh, would like to quickly uh, look at the you know uh, there are other features like expenses where it will give an information about the the whole account overview what is uh, how much did we uh, used in month wise and you know the uh, payment methods data transfer plans which is pretty interesting for me and the support tickets which I opened with the uh, Alibaba support and here um, there's something called ICP and uh, there is an enterprise resource management permission management channel platform and uh, forum official website and this is about the um, Alibaba uh, uh, cloud shell so let's quickly look at the elastic computing service so it's nothing but the compute let's see um, what features the Alibaba is offering uh, when compared with the uh, you know Azure AWS or GCP so under the elastic compute service we have something called as instances and images which under which we can create various instances container instance dedicated host supercomputing clusters reserved instances images if I click on the uh, instance so currently I don't have an instance let's click on create instance and see what um, options we will get while uh, provisioning an instance so it clearly comes with the subscription and pay as you go the building method and the region it is it's us it is a uh, by default it's taking as China so you can see Asia uh, Pacific where the most of the predominantly China 
along with uh, Singapore, Australia, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Japan. And you have uh, Europe and uh, Americas, Middle East and India. We have. But the strange thing is, I don't see the US. The US, we have only uh, you know Silicon Valley and uh, Virginia, but not more than that. So the options are are very limited uh, for the American regions. And um, the next thing is the instance type. So you can look at the instance families. Like the architecture is x86 architecture, heterogeneous computing, bare metal instance, supercomputing cluster. And the category is similar what we have uh, in Azure, like in general purpose, compute optimized, memory optimized, big data, high clock speed, entry level recommended. So under the general purpose i see uh, you look at the instance type uh, instance type uh, ecs large it starts with ecs guys and the maximum is 104 virtual cores and 384 gb of ram and uh, the bandwidth is 25 gbps if i go to the compute optimized let's see what is the maximum it's um, it's 104 virtual cores with 192 if I go to the memory optimized okay so this is it's 1 1920 GB okay and if I'm selecting this uh, big data then it's not that much if I'm going to the supercomputing cluster let's say what is this how much it's giving it's giving uh, 96 and 384 which is okay and here we have a category like you know we can select CPU type and GPU type if I'm selecting GPU type I don't think we have anything under the supercomputing but uh, under the x86 we can see a lot of uh, various family uh, and instance types so once we select it, then we can we can select what is the uh, how many quantity of units that the instances that uh, will be provisioned, and the image can be public image, uh, custom or shared or market image. So here you can see what are the various versions like Windows, CentOS, Ubuntu, Red Hat, Debian, SUSE, OpenSUSE, CoreOS, FreeBSD. So and the the disk is we have UltraDisk enhanced SSD standard SSD and um, we can give up to 500 GB here and we can also change the IOPS you know and we can add the data disk and the snapshot backup period daily or what is the frequency we want to um, enable it and duration it can be one month to one year we can provision and it's also showing the cost how much it is which we don't see in um, in, 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 uh, in Azure nor in GCP only in AWS so I think uh, the Alibaba is pretty similar uh, to the um, to the AWS a very uh, similar kind of a, a provisioning and all that the next thing is about the networking so let's select something um, I'm going to select a very um, very um, general purpose okay custom image 40 GB add this let's see okay According to PRC laws and regulations, users who purchase servers in mainline China must provide real name registration authenticate. If you have completed real name authentication, click on continue. So what I would like to do is I would like to change that to let's say to India Mumbai. Okay. And uh, click on next.
So under the networking, you can see the type is VPC, default, uh, and send a public IP address. And uh, we can increase the bandwidth here, which is pretty new feature. And you can also add the security groups where you know the protocols or ports you want to enable. And you can also enable the IPv6 if you want. So, so this is. If I click on preview, it shows my building configuration, my networking, and the duration. So the cost, which is which is pretty good, right? So this is how we'll create a, a you know an ECS, a, com a compute, uh, you know, in terms of VM provisioning. But I would like to go back and explore um, other features which is um, so this is a main site I need to go to the uh, console again now if I would like to previously remember we selected the operations now I would like to select an individual developers and click on OK let's see what is the uh, the UI it will be showing so I can see here now there are other services that popped up like you know um, DB uh, service, load balancer, log service, cloud monitor, Redish, MongoDB, and a couple of databases here it's showing. And uh, the resource alert safety monitor has been moved. And I can also see here there is an API related services. If I go to the, um, the databases, let's say. So I don't have an instance over here. You can have uh, the instances, dedicated clusters, logged instances. So if I go ahead and click on create instance, let's see what uh, options we will get while provisioning the RDS. So it's again, the same thing comes with the building method. You can select the, the region. Still loading. Okay, select the region. Uh, I'll be selecting uh, the Mumbai, India, and look at the database engine: MySQL, Mo uh, Microsoft SQL Server, PostgreSQL, SQL, MariaDB. And you can also select the region, like you know, enterprise, high availability, high performance, basic, and the low SSD, and the uh, the uh, primary node, secondary node, deployment method, single zone deployment or multi uh, deployment, multi zone deployment. And um, so these are all various um, general purpose. You can look at the instance type. Uh, it starts with uh, MySQL and uh, so it's also giving the pricing here, which is pretty good. And the capacity um, of the, uh, the instances, you know, but I see the, the price is very, um, I'll select one month, let's see. So that it's like, it's coming around like $328.35, right? That's for the creating this MySQL. But if I go to the um, Microsoft SQL, if I want to select, so they don't have to do 2019, only it's 2017 version is, is, a, is available here and uh, always on and uh, it's coming around sixteen hundred and thirty one dollars if i go to the uh, post grill sql it's coming around like uh, eighty two dollars and fifty six cents and if i go to the maria db then um, it's coming around like one thirty seven uh, dollars and 50 cents so which is which is pretty good so I want to go back to the, uh, the console that's uh, about the provisioning of the databases in Alibaba cloud and uh, let's look at the the networking uh, options what we have let's see virtual private cloud uh, click on that and let's see So here you have all the, the VPCs, route tables, VCHs, network uh, 
uh, access list, access control list, elastic IP address, internet shared, bandwidth, data transfer plan, NAT gateway, and you have the VPN gateways, customer gateways, IPsec, SSL services, SSL clients, flow log, quota management. So pretty, that's pretty, um, um, you know, I think um, the overlapping with the uh, Azure or AWS. So under the networking. And um, let's see uh, the bit of storage service now under the Alibaba Cloud. So it's asking me Alibaba Cloud OS supports two billing methods. Activate now because this is a new um, account. Object uh, storage service product. I agree. Enable now. So we don't see this kind of uh, uh, you know permissions required when we create a. Uh, you know as cloud services in uh, Azure or in AWS all right so it says uh, the service URL is activated and uh, let's go back to the console and um, go to the object storage service OSS so here it gives the whole uh, statistics like you know the uh, the complete overall uh, storage usage traffic for this month request this month versioning transfer acceleration cross-region replication and couple of other uh, features data processing so let's see um, the buckets currently we don't have any bucket if I click on create bucket then it's asking you know the bucket name and the region um, India Mumbai and the um, standard class the storage class is standard or IA or archive so versioning you can enable it and you can also enable the access control list encryption method real-time lock query which is good so I think uh, storage um, it's I think I've seen a couple of uh, additional uh, settings here when compared with the Azure portal and the AWS so that's about the object storage service and um, so I would like to look at the server load balancer. So if you look at, uh, if you remember in Azure, we have internal external load balancers. So here it says you can create the load, uh, server load balancer instance, uh, certificates, access controls. This is about the logging and this is about the uh, SLB lab or ID instances. So if you click on uh, create instance for the uh, load balancer, So you would to select the um, Mumbai region and zone type uh, multi zone by default. So it's 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 automatically picked up the primary zone and the backup zone. You can should give the instance name here, internet or intranet. It's like you know um, internal or the external uh, facing load balancer. And uh, you can see here the the load balancer. Um, this queues various uh, versions like you know shared performance small standard higher super right so the IP version by traffic or by bandwidth resource group so here uh, finally uh, I'm able to uh, this moreover as I said a combination of Azure and AWS uh, most of the uh, features here so the quantity what is it is one so it, it's also giving the um, the total configuration cost per hour which is really good the option I liked it so that's from the load balancer in, in Alibaba cloud now um, I think we covered um, you know we covered elastic compute uh, service and we also uh, covered a bit of RDS uh, VPC uh, object storage service server load balancer and um, so in my next video I'll be uh, going a, a deep dive uh, about the Alibaba cloud but I guess uh, this video helps you to understand the overview of the Alibaba portal and various services that are offering when compared with the uh, Microsoft Azure, AWS and GCP so guys uh, thank you so much for watching this video